Hi, my name is Justin Schaff, and I'm the founder and run our engineering team here at Patch My PC. We develop a third-party patch management solution that integrates into Microsoft Configuration Manager. In this video, we're going to be covering some of the new features available around third-party software update catalogs within the 1906 technical preview build of Config Manager. Now, we're going to be talking specifically about the new functionality to include category filters directly in the SCCM console, as well as the full content publishing that we can use within that categories feature. Now, I do wanna make this more generic, not just a patch my PC topic around our catalog, but more what categories can look like in general and how it could be helpful e even in other catalogs. So the first thing I am gonna mention here is that in order for SCCM to use this new categories feature when you import a third-party update catalog, the vendor does have to update their catalog format and create the categories on the back end. So just keep that in mind, but this could be even quite helpful for things like driver catalogs, where you may have four or 5,000 different uh, driver updates within a vendor's catalog like Dell, HP, or Lenovo, where if they started using this category feature, they could do things like allow you to only publish the third party updates for a specific model, for example, rather than publishing everything and bloating your WSUS catalog. So that's the main thing here from the docs. There's a few screenshots that kind of go over this functionality, but we're gonna be demoing this live and showing you exactly what it looks like. But it is great to see this, this feedback did come directly from the product group uh, on user voice. Uh, it was actually our friend Brian Dam who requested this new feature to allow uh, full content publishing as well as categories. So it's great to see that feedback getting addressed directly from the product group here. So jumping over to our Config Manager console, we can of course see within the lab that we're gonna be demoing this feature on. We are in fact on the 1906 tech preview. We're hoping this functionality makes it to the 1906 uh, GA build, but we'll just see whether or not there's any issues. But this is uh, currently in the 1906 technical preview build of Config Manager. So to show you what the new feature looks like, we're gonna go ahead and come down to our software updates, third-party software update catalogs, and we're gonna go ahead and add a new custom catalog. So this would be the same process if you were a Patch My PC customer, for instance, and you were coming in here and adding your catalog. So I'm gonna fill in this metadata while I pause the video. All right, so we now have that catalog uh, metadata filled out. We're gonna go ahead and click next, and then next here. We're then gonna to choose to subscribe to the catalog we just added. It's gonna go through the previous process where it would validate the certificate. So this process has not changed. You have to click view, validate that you trust the certificate from Patch My PC or whatever the catalog vendor was that you were adding. Go ahead and accept that and choose next. Now this is where if the vendor is using a V3 catalog format, you now have this new option to select categories. So this is the new functionality. Now within our uh, catalog, we're, we're making it really aligned to the different products and um, vendors that we have within our catalog. So you can see kind of a big list of all the different uh, products and vendors. This is gonna correspond basically by vendor and product, right? So we can see all these different vendors and products. Now let's just say we wanted to go down and choose Google Chrome. So let's say that you did not wanna publish every single third-party update that we have. You could choose this option here to select by category. And then you could be more selective and choose specifically what products and architectures that you want to actually publish within um, our catalog. So this can be quite helpful. Now, this is the next option here. This really comes into play around that user voice where it said we wanna have the ability to publish with full content. Now, the way it worked previously is it would publish every update within the catalog, but it would only publish the updates with metadata only. So that would actually cause a lot of confusion with our customers specifically, enough so that we had to create a specific article about metadata only updates. Basically what would happen is when the catalog published, they would come in, it would only be metadata. You could tell that by the blue icon here, and you couldn't actually use ADRs or right click and deploy it directly. You would instead have to right click that update and manually choose publish third party update content. So this ended up being a, a bit of a problem where um, customers may get confused around this process. But now with this new functionality, you have this new option called stage content. What that essentially means is that for the categories that you've selected within a category or within a catalog, you can choose to also publish them using full content. So we can come here and select the products 
that uh, we enabled for actually uh, publishing to WSUS, but in addition to filtering to only those categories within this stage content tab, you can also choose whether or not you wanna also automatically publish these categories with full content, meaning that you won't have to manually come back in and choose to publish content once the catalog actually syncs. So we'll do next on that. So we're gonna say we only wanna publish Google Chrome from Patch My PC, and we also wanna automatically publish that content for Google Chrome with full content. All right, so that was now added. I'm gonna go ahead and choose to manually run a sync. Now the synchronization still only happens by default every seven days. Um, so we just went ahead and just manually forced that just to get that running in the background here. Now we do have a guide where if you wanna change that seven day to one day using the provider and WMI, you can do that on the back end. I believe this is something that the product group um, is looking into. Now what we wanna look at, I'm on the wrong log here, we wanna look at the SMS ISV update sync agent. So that's gonna be the component that is going to perform the sync of any third party update catalogs. So this is where we should see our catalog start processing here in a minute. So there we go. So it's now processing our catalog. We can see it adding any certificates that we included here. Now this is where it's going through all the updates within the catalog. Now what's important here, we can see that although it's still looping through every single update within that category, it's skipping a lot of these updates because we can see that many of these updates are not configured in a category that you've actually enabled for syncing. Um, now, if we come in here and try to find Google Chrome, we should see that that one is in fact getting published because it was configured with, uh, within that category. So here we go, we can see that here's Chrome. We can see that it then published the metadata for Chrome. Now, once the, the catalog does it sync with metadata, we can then see that at the bottom of the log, it's then going to evaluate whether or not any of those categories were enabled for full content publishing or, or the staging terminology that they use here. So now what we can see is that within there, it found that there were some updates that were published with uh, full content, and we can now see that it's going out downloading the content automatically from Google, and it's starting to publish those updates with full content. So we'll wait a few minutes while these uh, updates are published. All right, so we can see that both of those updates were published with uh, full content, the 32 and 64 bit version of Google Chrome. So if we come back to our all software updates, in order for these to actually reflect in, we're gonna just go ahead and trigger a manual software update point and sync. Now, normally this would probably just happen on an automated schedule, but just to speed up this synchronization, we're gonna go ahead and run that. And then if you look at the wsyncmanager.log, we can see um, any new updates coming in. So here's that Chrome update for the 32 and 64 bit version of Google Chrome. So now if we come back to our all software update and do a refresh, we can now see that we have both uh, Chrome uh, 32 and 64 bit now showing up. And the most important thing here is we can see that it does have full content with that green icon. That means that it could be uh, downloaded into a deployment package and then deployed automatically. So let's do one more refresh and just see if that deployed column changes to yes, because I do have an automatic deployment rule that was configured to automatically deploy Patch My PC updates. So we can see that full automation happened here because there's no longer metadata only when we use this uh, categories feature that allows us to publish with full content. Now this is an extremely helpful option. Um, the lack of automation was a big reason why a lot of customers preferred to use our publishing tool versus SCCM because they always had to manually right click and publish with metadata only. So with this new functionality, really um, the key differences here, now that you can fully automate uh, the deployment, this one will eventually go green once this goes into SCCM production. Um, where you can now do full automation there. So the biggest change between the SCCM in console publishing once this feature release and our own publishing uh, service with term uh, with regards to our Patch My PC catalog is going to be around customizations here, right? So things like turning off self updates for products, enabling logging. 
This is gonna be the key difference once this new functionality comes into SCCM, which is gonna be a great step for those who may not care about all these uh, actions like turning off self-updates, deleting shortcuts, custom scripts. If you're okay with just doing the uh, default update process, um, this is gonna be a good option now for uh, possibly just using the SCCM in console publishing with some of these improvements around automation and categories. So that's pretty much all I had to cover here. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.